Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. We apparently have some friends in low places this time, and we got two scientists, two engineers, and 200 space dollars. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Well, at least that makes one of us. Alright, so who do we have? We have, uh, Nonners as our support. Sorry, as their heavy. I'm not totally against him being in the squad, but... Uh, it's two guys with machine guns, so... Let's bring in uh, SGT Dan, which, uh, oh no, he looks ugly as hell. What, what was I thinking there? Oh, this guy looks cool. Fine, you know, I'll do Dan. I don't know what I did with you, I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, there's no excuse. I still kind of want to get an assault going, but yeah, that's why we bring, oh. No, let's win this. Let's bring the people guaranteed to win. Because winning is winning is nice. Alright. Well, I think we're good here. I know I don't have another scope, but I'd rather keep the grenade and at least with one person. Fuck. Not everybody's gonna survive this. I think as we've soon learned. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We're heading into China for the next operation. You must be my contacts. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. He triggered his overwatch. Not so different from killing a man. It won't take long for them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. That's our man. And it looks like he's got the package with him. We'll need to get him back to the extraction point in one piece. His former employers, not to mention the invaders, will be looking for him. New objective received. Alright, well, uh, let's start moving up slowly and methodically through to the end here. I'm not sure where my boss got this thing, but he was taking offers from a variety of bidders regardless of their intentions. This is a civilian protection mission. He, although you saw him shoot someone, he doesn't actually have a good weapon. He just gets to hunker down and move. I'm supposed to bring him all the way here. Um, so what you do want to do is you want to hunker him down so he doesn't get critted, but he doesn't have a whole lot of health to begin with, so everyone's on Overwatch. Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capture. <laughs> what? Capture what? <laughs> what did you want? So, uh, welcome to Thin Men. Goodbye, Thin Men. Alright. Um, so, Thin Men are... Thin, as you can possibly imagine. Yeah, they're, they're kind of dicks, so um, that's kind of how they roll. Uh, we're gonna reload you. And as you can see, I shot and then it reloaded. It's really cool, huh? The job itself seemed trivial. Delivering equipment to a predetermined drop point. And we have people now on Overwatch. Also, if you go into the Pugas Cloud, uh, it hurts a lot. They have, they have a lot of poison-related abilities. Uh, luckily, it's in like a square, and I wouldn't I won't run into it if I decide to move up. So let's uh, get everyone going forward here. There's a lot of half cover here, but I'm not too worried. The only Once person I, I have this to device, I began to fear the implications of our involvement. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. Half cover is okay because, as I said, they they drop in and then it's basically a turkey shoot. We all get to shoot. Uh, 
Oh, good job with the sniper rifle there. <laughs> He's always the last one to shoot. All right. Well, uh, sniper, you get the honors of leading off the charge. Snipers are amazing. All right. Uh, now we get a really good move with this guy. Oh shit. We're gonna reload. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look around here. Uh, we're gonna just reload for this turn. Except for you, you can overwatch. I hope this. I many lives during my life, but now we all face a common enemy. Yeah, he's kind of in a place I don't want him to be in, but my sniper can take a shot. Snipers are fucking amazing! Yeah, well, you know, what would you expect from me, to be honest? No, I hate snipers all of a sudden. It goes everything against- it goes everything against everything I stand for. Practically. Alright, well, there's a lot of half cover here, but uh, as I said... You've been watching. If you've been watching so far, you would know I'm not overly concerned with that. Okay, we only have one shot. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it out. Good times. Alright, uh, now we're gonna start moving people out since our sniper is now fully capable of engaging. Just, uh, you know, slowly moving everyone up. Everyone's behind full cover. That's what you want to see. Heads up, Commander. We've got an intermittent contact. It's something different from the others. This negates any hope we had of establishing a clear pattern of behavior among the alien species. This specimen is nothing like the others. Seems like they've got one of everything. Great fucking shot. You know, he, he makes the shots when they matter, so... Um, so, you know, I'm not complaining too much. Alright. Uh, here's a plan. We have an unknown contact all the way up there. Well, actually, it's, uh, I know exactly what it is, but um, it's basically it's a chrysalid. We are not fucking with that. That's a nope, okay? And this is how we nope. Uh, unfortunately, this guy is al almost out of ammo. This guy can make all the way back here, though. We need everyone... He can rock it if, if he needs to. And here comes the chrysalid. Chrysalids create zombies. They're horrible, horrible, horrible people. They also only have melee attacks. But luckily he's using both of his moves during this one turn. They move really far. It's awful. There you go. He got a shot off. So we do really don't want him to be here for very long periods of time. Yeah, he's gonna just kind of hump our person right here. Uh, luckily, Sniper is here to answer the call to kill some chrysalids. Oh, uh, that was... That's just... You don't want to mess with that. We ain't touching that ever. Alright. Well, let's start reloading weapons. And you can move all the way up here. I'm not too concerned at this point. I kind of want to get that this guy to get a... I want my sniper to reload, but... Uh, yeah, it looks like he'll be able to, because they're, they, they're not moving in anytime soon, so... This is not the best sniper. This is not the best cover for my guy, but I think he'll be okay. As long as he is not the first one to move on his turn, then we'll be okay. And I hope you're seeing the value of squad sight at this at this moment. Alright, let's see. Okay, well, you can come right up here. Uh, 
Uh, you can come right here. Oh, is that not cover? No, it is. Good, good stuff. Okay, moving him here is not the best idea I've ever had, so... Moving him there was not the best idea I've ever had either. Frickin' civilians. We're receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. That's not a good spot. Unfortunately, he's probably gonna get poisoned. No, he- oh, he's carrying the med kit. If you carry the med kit, you don't get poisoned. Alright, so there's a sectoid right there. My chance to hit is not terra bad. My sniper doesn't have a shot. So, let's go and, uh... We didn't trigger his overwatch, which is good. And Mr. Shiv saves the day once again. Fuck, this episode is just all about him. Alright. And you can go up here. And uh, this guy can just go into cover, like right here. He'll be okay, don't worry. Okay, now here's the plan. Start moving some of these guys in to cover. And once we see it's clear, we can kind of just dash them right to the end. There you go. It's done. I am alive. But the life I had is gone now. Funny. That my life should take such an unexpected path. Turning my back on old friends to defeat a common enemy. You know, that wasn't funny at all. That line really bugs me, so that's the, that's the DLC for you. The device and our contact are secure. Get back to HQ for debriefing. Yeah, that's it. A much and well-needed boost. Uh, I really needed that. So that's why I kind of like that, that DLC mission. It, it does make things easier, though. I won't even lie. It, that random one would give a far less of reward. Looks like they're really taking care of business down there, and without so much as a scratch. Everyone gets an upgrade. All right. So we have uh, Volkov, who either gets Gunslinger or Damn Good Round. And basically, Damn Good Ground, basically, if he has an elevate, if he's fighting against enemies at a lower elevation, he gets an aim and defense bonus. And you'd think this would be a really good idea. Gunslinger gives a two damage bonus to pistols. To be honest, I'm really quite unsure of the best action here, but there are situations in the game where you need to move into um, you need to move into cover and you need to take a shot with a pistol, because the sniper, as you know, I can't fire it and use it on the same turn. So even though this sounds great in theory for, like, especially that last mission, he was on high elevation and he was taking shots at people from really far away. He was still landing those hits. He has really nice aim still. Um, so that's why I'm gonna take Gunslinger. Even though, you know, I'm, as I said, my mind still might change on that at some point, but, yeah. Who knows. So I got promoted, and so I have a choice between something called Shredder Rocket, which, uh, the enemy that gets hit by a, a, a rocket takes 33% extra damage, um, or Suppression, which, um, uh, they get a 30 aim penalty, and I get to suppress someone, and I can- it is, this also ruins their cover. It's- it's also something that this does. This is- Shredder Rocket is actually not as useful, because Shredder- Rockets, to begin with, actually just absolutely fucking wreck everything. Um, and so the 33% bonus damage actually doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, but suppression is definitely worthwhile. Mr. Shiv gets a choice between medkits being used three times or additional use of smoke grenade each, each, uh, mission. Well, what, what have I been using more of? Actually, what do you think is more valuable? <laughs> the, the ability to keep my, uh, soldiers alive or, uh, grenades? So, I think I'm gonna be keeping the medkits. Nonners gets, uh, is another, our other heavy, and we're gonna spec him out in the same fashion as my, uh, as myself. So we got, uh, Thin, uh, Thin Man Autopsy, Chrysalid Autopsy, uh, a Chrysalid Corpse, 
and some weapon fragments. So I don't really know what the guy was bringing along with him. We got some scientist engineers out of it. In touch, Commander. And the other thing we did get was uh, he's over. We have him actually as a soldier. Which is kind of neat. I, I can't really choose. His name wasn't randomly assigned. But he is seriously upgraded. Check this shit out. So I'm going to spec him out the same way. He even has an extra ability over the other stuff. So the last thing he does get here is uh, he gets to... He confers a second reaction shot if the first one hit. So basically, like if you have him on Overwatch, he'll get two reaction shots off. Or he can get 100% more damage, so like double damage against robotic enemies. Well, we're going to do that. Um, Overwatch, not as valuable as you would think, to be honest. Uh, and plus I usually, whenever I have Overwatch, it's just everyone's on Overwatch, so. And now we have, a, we have a fair good team, even though we've lost a couple of good people along the way. It would have been nice to have an Assault, but to be honest, it is not important for me to have. I, I, I think, honestly, if I'm playing as defensively as I am, Assaults are not as important, but I would still want them because they have a lot of, uh, not supports, uh, I, I did say Assaults, didn't I? Assaults have some really useful abilities, and I have five people left that I can still put together. Um, I doubt there's going to be anyone else, uh, so we're going to launch a satellite at somebody. Uh, we could do Argentina, which gives me another... Uh, at this point, you know, I could do Argentina, uh, but I could do the next month, too. Uh, and so I got one extra engineer from this one. Uh, I would get another engineer from this. I honestly, I would prefer to pick a country, uh, probably Asia, because Asia would give me another, um, it would give me another, uh, engineer. The only other option is here, and North America would give me, uh, an extra scientist. But, but here's, here's, here's how I go work on about this, okay? I do have the 30% bonus, okay? Now, the thing with Argentina is you'd get $70 and you'd just, you know, 30% extra that. To be honest, I think that United States would be my best option. Even though I... to report at the moment. Boards are clear. Yeah, thanks. Um, even though you look at kind of like Asia, like I kind of want that extra 100... Uh, uh, that extra engineer. Not as valuable as having just a shit ton of money. So this is like gonna add like about 50 more bucks to my thing, especially since I started with Africa, so we're actually gonna be doing this. This also means though that we need to uh, send a... we need to send a sh uh, When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. We're ordering two extra interceptors uh, to North America. Just to defend the satellite, uh, I usually put, well, I usually put the two, um, uh, two interceptors per continent that actually has, they cost money too, that's the problem. So, I don't know. It'd be nice to get some, some money later, but now we can scan for activity. Because I think we're pretty much going to reach the end of the month here. available over the United States. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So we got a shit ton of money and one scientist and one engineer. So, Remember, not, not too bad. We will be watching. We got our money. By the way, you don't have to actually have the satellite operational to get the money apparently, so I just kind of it kind of worked out that way for me. Um Carapace armor is almost done. We got four days left on the that. New engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. And so we are going to actually create the a next satellite uplink that we want. Look at how much money we have. We're actually pretty solid here. Work crews are on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. And we're also going to make an officer training school. We're going to need a power generator next because we're out of power now. Uh, I can't, unfortunately, make uh, an access lift. Seen of their technology. If the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. And uh, we can actually, you know what, I probably should have waited on the, on the uh, building of satellites because the council report is not for 30 days. Um, because, you know, we're probably going to get another mission. I could probably just go get the more engineers. Carapace armor completed. Nice. 
we have a whole bunch of autopsies here. Beam weapons, I think, is going to be the next one because that's really important to me. Um, as for carapace armor, requires a fair bit of money. Insufficient alloys, though. Uh, it, as I said, this this kind of stuff it's, it could mean the difference between life and death. But you can't you can't buy more alloys. There's a very fixed and finite amount of them. I'm actually regretting buying all that crap this early because I couldn't have waited. Because how many days is left on the? Uh, yeah, the uplink takes like nine more days. It, it would have been up in time, especially since I have another abduction site to going on. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hollow globe. Yeah, I'm all for I'm all for saving Mexico. Uh, but that's something we will do next time. So I will see you then. Until then. We will be watching.